lion den never runs out of bone. In Arabic. Hold on. Shu lion bil Remember after you read it, look at the camera. Favorite parts of learning any language are idioms, or what some people call sayings or proverbs. Idioms can often give you quite a bit of insight into another culture, especially if they're commonly used. We heard a lot of interesting ones over the years that sounded a little bit funny. So today we're going to go over some of our favorite ones and have our dad give his best attempt at explaining what they mean. Let's get started with the first one. Go tile the ocean. It means like when somebody threatening you or he wants something that he cannot get. You tell him go Balat Bahar. Go Balat al Bahar, it's impossible to go and tile the ocean. Get lost. Do you read it? What? I, I don't know where you're getting these. Tuz Ashawarbak? No. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything. Okay, this one. You told me the other day. Habil Afkara. So in English we say train of thought, but in Arabic they use rope of thought. Habil Afkara, rope of thought, it means if somebody's just uh, daydreaming or uh, not paying attention or not thinking somebody come and interrupt them you say oh ata' habil afkarak tikrar yu'allim lihmar the repetition teaches the donkey donkeys are known to be stupid no matter how stupid you are if you do things over and over and over again you should learn a practice makes perfect not a game we talking about practice lion den never runs out of bone in arabic hold on shu lion bil bait al asad la yakhla min al adam it means always there is always food available at your home on your table the asad always hungry and he always eat and leave the bones add al hafak mid ijrik stretch your legs only as far as your blanket extends it means do not over spend just spend as much as you have money you cannot like you cannot go over and spend the money you do not have we say live within your means من الفرشة على الكرشة from the mattress to the belly that means you wake up without brushing your teeth you're out washing your face you go straight to eating شايف حاله one is seeing himself or herself or their self شايف حاله means he's he's not worth nothing but he is stuck up or he is he thinks he's everything. He thinks he's the best. They're full of themselves. Bala radio. Swallow the radio. Bala radio, it means when you start talking, you don't spa stop, like the radio. You keep going and going and going and going, you don't stop talking. Can you read the word at the bottom? What? Can <laughs> read it? Gar Garulus? <laughs> what is that? Garulus is an English word, means talkative. This is now the blood series. The next few are all about blood. Damut il. Means his or her blood is thick or heavy it's no matter how he say it's not a wet person uh wet uh just wet wet what's wet w-i-t wet wet it means they're very annoying when he makes joke you go along with him he's a good person it's the opposite of the opposite of the mut'il Far dammi means literally his blood boiled. Far dammi, يعني عصبت خلاص. You got me. You got me to a point where I cannot, cannot take it anymore. Ah, sabah rabah. يعني you start your day working, making money. That's what it means. You make money. Sabah rabah. It's kind of like the early bird gets the worm, I guess. على عيني وراسي. It means on my head and my eyes. I'll do anything. I'll do anything for you. Sometimes you sincerely, but usually sarcastically. Yeah. Sometimes you mean it. Sometimes you don't mean it. إدحك بلاس. Oh, إدحك بلاس نان. Laughing without teeth. إدحك بلاس نان. When somebody is ill, dumb, and he start laughing at anything, you say إدحك بلاس نان. واحد مربي لحيته والثاني متغلب فيها. This one is for my mom. One person grows a beard and the other is bothered by it. It's like you're growing your beard and it's none of anybody's business and they start getting bothered by your beard. What someone else is doing shouldn't bother you basically. طول بنطلونك. This means lengthen your pants. طول بنطلونك. It means it means like if you're short fuse. Take it easy. Uh, take it. Take it easy. طويل السان. When somebody keeps talking and telling whatever he he hears, he tells the friends. He tells everybody. That means طويل السان. His السان needs to be. 
cut. His mind flew away. And somebody start uh, acting stupid or doing bad things. We say, oh, he doesn't have a brain. Like usually it's uh, used in a sad situation. When something happened to you, we tell you, just be strong. Means they wouldn't pee on an injured finger. That means he cannot do anything. Means he wouldn't help go out of his way to help you even if yes. it was easy. Someone who doesn't like to help people. Movement is a blessing. You have to keep moving. Moving, you bring you money. Kind of like helps his wealth. Allah irham minzar wa khaffaf. May God bless visitors who don't stay for long. Get the coffee and get the hell out. Not the people who keep staying and you bring them nuts and you bring them tea and you bring them dessert and you start yawning and they still stay. Yeah, something, they come and go. Ah, uh, He who plays with the cat will find its claws. If you're not willing to fight the fight, then don't do it. I think it's if you play with fire, you're gonna get burned. Uh, if you can't stand the heat, don't, don't stay in the kitchen. <laughs> don't say fool until they're on the measuring scale. Never heard of that. You're getting some Egyptian uh, <laughs> idioms. It says don't count your chickens before they hatch. <laughs> I tell him it's a bull and he says milk it. That means bull. The ball you cannot milk. It's like you're arguing with an unreasonable person. They don't make any sense and they just keep saying the same ridiculous argument over and over again. After his hair went gray, they sent him to school. It's like old people. Old people, it's, it's hopeless to go back to school and study because their brain is burnt and it's out of business. You can't teach an old dog new tricks, especially yeah. this old dog. means... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bald man, we're confused about where to kiss you. That means you're gonna kiss an old and, and a bald guy, but you don't know. You don't know where you're gonna kiss him. It means someone is very hard to please. You don't know where you should, what to do for them. Al wada mutkahrib is uh, the situation is electrified, or like someone else said, Al wada mutkahrib that means uh, it's confusing. A lot of things happening. Very tense or charged tense. atmosphere. Rijli ala rijlak. My leg on your leg. Like when you want to go somewhere and your wife or your husband come say, oh, rijli ala rijlak, you're not going by yourself. Do you like that? Al jayi makhzuga. Means the pocket is ripped. Jayi makhzuga means you're drained. You have no money. Especially when you get married. Tingle your pocket is jingle. <laughs> Married. Married your jaybi makhzuga. Ma umro rahikun il bas alatizo. There will never be underwear on his ass. It's an idiom meaning like if somebody keeps spending money, spending money, spending money, he'll never save for the future and he'll never have money for the future. Harak tiza. Move your ass. That means when you're working with somebody and they're just standing around doing nothing, you just say, move. Move it. Hail Antizi. If somebody is always on your back, you just tell them, Hail Antizi, leave me alone. Rasu Hajar. Head is a rock. We, we say that for stubborn people. Like they don't listen. Like my two kids here. They don't listen. We're old school. We have more experience than them, but they don't listen to us because their head is Hajar. Mashi ala bed. Walking on eggs or eggshells. Mashi ala bed. It means like if somebody walking or doing or working or something, we say, oh, mashi ala bed. He's do, going slow, very slow. He's walking slowly. So the mashi ala bed, you tell him, harak tiza. Harak tiza, move it. Behassas ala halo. He is rubbing himself. Just slowly, slowly moving and getting dressed or shaving or taking a shower. So we say, behassas ala halo. He's taking, taking his time. time. Hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun to <laughs> review some of these. Uh, if you liked it, please like and subscribe, share with friends, and we'll see you all next time. Say bye. Bye.